But I've never, like, seen someone naked so much all the time. Like, I just, if I'm home, why do I have to be all dressed up? Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your dad, and I'm here with my boyfriend, JC. <laughs> and today, we're going to be doing the boyfriend tag. So make sure, if you're new, you click on that subscribe button. We're going to be making videos all the time. Also, check out part two of the boyfriend tag on JC's channel. And let's get into the video. Okay, time to start. So the first question is, how did we meet? Um... We met like a long time ago on a shooting for Amazon. Yeah, we were doing like an Amazon video shoot and I just saw it. You were in your underwear or something. Was I? I was chairless, but not in my underwear. <laughs> okay, maybe you don't well, remember that. I remember his shirt was not, and this was like four or five years ago. And it was five years ago. Five years ago. Well, I'm, I'm telling the story like when we told it when we first started hanging out a year ago. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, it's five years ago now. And... I just thought it was really hot, and we followed each other on Instagram. Uh -huh. um, then we just stayed in, in contact, kind of, for... Oh, we just, like, random Instagram friends. For, like, three, four years. Mm -hmm. And then I randomly ran into you at a party last October. In L.A. In L.A. And then we started hanging out. We went to a gym together. We were gym buddies. And then next thing you knew, and we then started dating. Yeah, and then we started dating, and that's pretty much it. We actually, like, dated for, like, a long time. We, did we didn't do the whole gay thing, like, meeting up on Monday, boyfriends on Tuesday, <laughs> getting married on Wednesday. Oh, we can actually did, never mind. <laughs> yeah, we bought a house after like, five months of being boyfriends. <laughs> oh, my God. But, yeah, that, that's how we met. We met at an Amazon video shoot, like, five years ago. Okay. And then next question is, where was our first date? I remember it. Uh, I don't remember. We, we, oh. we used to do things every day. We used to I go know. to movies all the time. I think it was a movie theater on that Crunch Plaza. No, because that and was... And we do the picture together. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I remember that, but actually, I remember you bought me that, like, little chocolate, like, pie thing, remember? Yeah, but, but the movie happened before that. I know, but you bought... We were like, getting sushi before, and then you bought me that little sushi... I mean, the little, the chocolate, little chocolate thing. And then I, I was like... Because I had a little crush on him, but we didn't, like, tell each other yet. And I was like, oh, my God, I think he likes me. Like, he got me this chocolate thing. And then you gave it to me, and then you were like, oh, I give all my friends food. Yeah, that's how <laughs> I drive. And I was like, all my friends would be happy about food. And, and I then, knew he was, like, a very, like, I like person. So I was just like, you know, like, I don't know. I think I'm like, what do you mean, L.A. person? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. But anyway, so we got sushi and then went to the movies. And, but that wasn't our first date. We were just like friends that we, we never hooked up or anything at yeah. that point. So this is what I think our first date was. We were texting and then we were like flirting or whatever. And then we like kind of told each other we liked each other over text. And then... No, I made a joke about something. I mean, it was definitely a joke I made. And then like, you kind of took it like... I don't know, like, <laughs> you took it, like, way too deep or something, and then you reply, like, I really don't remember what the joke was, but this was something, definitely was a sexual, like, kind of like, like, when you make a joke about, like, that's what she said, or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was something like that, and then you took it, like, I was like, wait, what? I was like... You replied something really intense. And I was like, what? No, you were like, are you flirting with me? And I was oh, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and then I was like, yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. you were like, oh, I'm flirting with you, too. And then, yeah, like... You came over, but then our first date was when we went to the Grove, and we were, like, at Barnes & Noble. I remember that. And we went and to then Starbucks. And we went to Starbucks. It's just a mall in the light. Yeah. I, no, I remember because I, I got a new phone, so I was, like, transferring everything over, and I saw the pictures from when we were at the Grove. And then um, we went up in the hills, and we, we were, like, looking down at all the lights. I That's, like, my favorite thing to do. I, like, brought I was, I was I was taking Akutane. So I was literally like, I have like no energy. I was so like miserable. I remember being sitting there like freezing, but it was nice to see the lights. <laughs> was making you go. Well, I, I thought it was romantic. Um, but yeah, that okay. was our first date. And then <laughs> when was our first, <laughs> when was our first kiss? Uh, I think it was like right after we had that, that conversation on the, and then when we met, then we kissed. Who said I love you first? Definitely you. Yep. You were saying I love you, like, after, like, the first hour. I no. like, this dude is intense. No. Red flag. <laughs> no, after, like, three months. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was quicker than that. I was like, wait, what? Well, you t I, I remember I accidentally told you I loved you after, like, one month, like, accidentally. And then you said it right after. But then we didn't. No, 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 no. I said it, like, no, but you way said later. 
No, but you were like joking. Like, I don't know. It was like, it was like funny. Cause I was like, oops. And then like, it was like funny, but then we didn't say it after until like, like four months later, but I said it first. What is your favorite physical feature about me? Definitely. I already know what he's going to say. <laughs> your nose. <laughs> he loves my nose. Um, and then mine uh, for him is either the titties or your butt. <laughs> wow. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> he has a really nice butt. What color are my eyes? Mm, black. <laughs> no. Mm, yeah. Like dark brown. But that's not black. But it's almost there. Yours is like a really pretty brown. Thanks. What food do I hate the most? I already know. Pretty much everything. If you want me <laughs> no. to be fully honest, he has every type of food. Like, he's not a foodie. He eats a lot, but the same thing all the time. Until you get big. He's, he's Chicken, not, he's rice, not, um, vegetable. He's not open to, like, explore foods. What you do you know? mean? I ate alligator with you the other day. I just Yeah, but that's because I make you and I give you drama No, 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 it. no. You didn't make me. I was, like, excited. I was like, ooh, content. I'm eating. Okay, um... But what, what's the question again? What food do you hate the most? Yes. Uh, uh, cheese. Yes. <laughs> See? What food do I hate the most? I feel like he likes everything, but he doesn't... Can I say peanut butter? Mm, I will eat it. Not, that is a specific type of food that I never eat. <laughs> wow, <laughs> what? You know so well. Well, because well, I know what you eat. You eat rice and beans and chicken and avocado and banana. Because <laughs> <laughs> so why do I hate the most? That I told you I, I never want to go to a restaurant like this and like i like that is one i can't believe this chinese no um (laughs) i don't know Mm, italian food italian i never did italian food never oh well i kind of actually knew that because i remember i was like i want to take him to an italian place because that's all my family does but you never want to do that so that makes sense uh okay so i'm sitting in front of the tv what am i watching this one's easy I'm um, playing video games. <laughs> <laughs> well, kind of. I was going to say, I'm sitting in front of the TV looking at TikTok on my phone. Oh, yeah. I'm f- we're sitting watching a movie. What is he doing? On his phone. <laughs> no. Mm, yeah. No. No, but like if I'm by myself and in front of a TV, I'm watching my phone probably. Okay. So when do we meet each other's parents? You met my mom in Miami. Um, no. Yeah. Oh, in Puerto Rico. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Mm. That was my grandma. Like, yeah, yeah. I met his grandma... For, on Christmas in, in Miami. And he met my mom last year in Puerto Rico because we went to Puerto Rico to celebrate her birthday. But his parents only speak Spanish, so I never really can talk to them. So he has to translate everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. But he, yeah, it's exhausting. And I him. met your, uh, your parents and your brother last month. Oh, you mean, oh well, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> his brother is a dog. <laughs> They have a dog that's literally heavier than me, and his parents are like obsessed with the dog. The dog bit me, and uh, <laughs> his dad was checking on the dog before he checked on me. The dog bit me too. My dad also <laughs> checked on the dog before he checked on me. Um, he's, my dog has left scars on me. It's a mess. Okay. Um, but yeah, my, literally, we bought a house before my parents even met him, which is crazy. What's my shoe size? 11. It's like, yeah, 10, 11. Yours is like a five. Mm. I would say a little bit bigger, but okay. Six? No, I don't know. I don't, honestly, I don't know because I normally check the European numbers, so yeah. Okay. Um, what is the other person's weirdest habit? <sighs> Your weirdest habit? I, it might not be weird to you, but to me, it's the most disgusting thing. I already know it's just biting your nails back and forth, no matter what. Like, like, like uh, he could be outside and... Uh, Touching things outside, and he'll still put his his hands in his mouth, and I honestly think that's disgusting. I think it builds your immune system. Yeah, well, okay, <laughs> show your nails. <laughs> <laughs> they look good. Your weirdest habit is probably he's always walking around the house naked, but I don't I don't hate it. I like it. It's just weird. Well, you know what? I try to do like as less laundry as I can, <laughs> so that's a way to save like to keep I my clothes clean. I well, I've never really lived with a boyfriend before. But I've never, like, seen someone naked so much all the time. Like, I just, if I'm home, why do I have to be all dressed up? Like, well, I don't, know, I don't, all I'm doing at home is just, like, chilling in the kitchen. I'll probably just chill in the couch. Well, I don't think you need to be all dressed up, but I just feel more comfortable, like, having, like, a hoodie on or something sometimes. It makes me claustrophobic. It's cozy. It's cozy. We live in Florida. It's really hum- humid. Well, sometimes when the AC is on. I don't know. I think it's cozy. All right. So, what's something that the other one is really bad at? What am I bad at? Uh... 
You're really bad at... I what? actually don't even know what you're bad at. Working out? He's no. really bad at working out. He, he just, just goes and literally just throw weights around and like... I got, he doesn't have like a program, nothing. He's just genetically blessed. So his all I build is just genetic. Genetic. I think, I you're, I think you're genetically blessed. I stopped working out in two days, <laughs> for two days, and I become a straight up a ball. Like I'm like a beautiful ball of muscle. <laughs> no muscle, trust <laughs> yeah. me. No muscle. A beautiful ball of muscle. Um, oh, you're bad at like staying on one topic. Oh yeah, man. You're like yeah, all yeah. over the place. Yep. It, like we'll be talking about something, and then in the middle of a conversation, you'll be like the garage door, and I'm like, no, like we're talking about this, and then like he completely gets me off topic, and then I start talking about the garage. Because door. Because I told you about the garage door like last month, and you still haven't like fixed it. I know. Well, it's. Owning a house is a lot of work. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I don't recommend that. Like, really. like we have to work on the garage door and then the pool. There's a problem with the pool. There's a leak. There's a leak in our house. There's a million things. So yeah, like, it doesn't stop. And we and we got a good deal because the house is pretty new. But what's the other person's favorite drink? Uh, a protein drink. <laughs> um, what's I, my favorite drink? I was gonna say like water. <laughs> all, he, yep. all he ever drinks is water. I only drink water, nothing else. He's a very healthy boy. Is there anything else you'd like to add? No. Okay. Well, if I was collecting something, what would I collect? Probably something online. No. Like, I don't know. Like an NFT? Yeah, like an NFT or some shit like that. Or whatever TikTok br- trend that you see. If he sees a <laughs> TikTok trend, then he has to jump into it. His personality is like following TikTok trends. Or buying things on Amazon. <laughs> True that. <laughs> um, um, well, so if you were going to collect something, it would be nothing because he... Well, actually, it would be... Well. In his brain, he thinks it would be nothing because he says it's the minimalist. But in reality, it would be like some like magnets, Disney related, or like like mem- like um. Well, I the only thing I ever collected is magnets because I've traveled around. Oh, so every yeah, single yeah. time I go like around the world, any city I get a magnet. So I have like a, two bags full of magnets. That's like, true. Upstairs. But I was gonna say, and like, I don't even put them around because it's too many magnets. So it would drive me crazy. It's too much. I, it, it, they have to be in a bag. Well, I was going to say, because you have like that like stuffed minion thingy over there. You have like all these like little like characters. And I feel like even though you say you're a minimalist, you have all these like... Those are gifts. Those are gifts that I've gotten in a, like, you know, the, on, the, on my, um, my PO box and stuff. So I, I, I just feel bad when someone gives me a gift. It doesn't matter That's what true. it is, even if it's like a letter or something, like I feel bad throwing it away. That's, That's, true. That's, That's true. pretty much fun. But it was just funny because... I just want to tell a quick story. When we were, like, moving, he's like, I'm throwing everything away. I'm a minimalist. I don't have anything. And then, like, we get here, and I threw away all this shit that I actually really wanted to keep. And then we but get here. But it was here. shit. But, but then I ended up going on Amazon and buying, like, another, like, oh uh, frother thing because I make, like, matcha green tea. I had to buy all this shit that I threw away. Okay. Because I was like, I'm going to be a minimalist. And then I realized I needed things. And then I see you with, like, all these, like, stuffed animals and, like, statues of things. And I'm like... He's not a minimalist, even mm-hmm. though you are. Okay, even like, though, like, it works right now because look, all the ornaments we have around, like, it's... It, <laughs> I know, it but per, I, I had ornaments that I Those could've... ornaments are literally, like, 200 bucks, like, each one. <laughs> that know. one, that, that little, like, Game of Thrones seat is, like, straight up, like, 500 bucks. I know, it's just... And it's it was just, a gift, but why would I throw that away? It was just funny, but, like, yeah, I know what you're saying. Do I have any weird talents? Farting. I could do this. With, like, really, really bad smells. <laughs> No. <laughs> the worst parts I ever smelled in my life are his farts. Well, I, all I it, eat it is, is what it is. protein, protein, protein. One time we were at the movie theater and I've never really felt like I had to leave a movie theater because of a fart. That was my first time ever. I was like, I couldn't handle it. I felt bad for the other people around us. <laughs> but it was, it was that bad. Like, like, I don't, I don't know, honestly. Uh, okay. I'm trying to think of a weird talent that you have. It's probably, um... <laughs> I love, I call that a talent. <laughs> your weird talent is, um, your accent. Thank you. Uh, what am I afraid of? Being alone, do things alone, like, the absolute, do everything, okay, we're, oh, anything, we're anything, we're cutting anything this, we're cutting this. <laughs> alone. <laughs> Uh, no, I do a lot anything of things. Alone. I do a lot he of has things. to be a companion for him. He's already 30 years old and he hasn't even left the continent. Because I, I feel like mm-hmm. it's not because of money or nothing. It's probably because he's just afraid to jump on a plane and go around and like visit. Well, yeah, my, my mom was literally, because we're, we're going to Japan next month. My mom was like, oh my God, like, I'm glad JC's going to be with you. I don't want you to go alone. Like, 
I feel like I was just waiting. It's not like you're going to, like, I don't know, like, Syria. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's just going to Japan. It's like, it's, if anything, they're way more educated than here. I know. I you just, have more chances of being killed. Than I just feel like Japan. I was, like, raised where, like, my mom was like, be careful, like, bring a friend with you when you travel. Like, don't <laughs> do things alone. Um, but, yeah, yeah. Um, let's just go to the next question. I don't like talking about that. <laughs> uh, do you have any nicknames for me? Cutie. <laughs> Yeah, he calls me cutie, but just like the letter Q and the letter T. Um, when I'm really mad, I call him Joy. <laughs> that's true. I think that's all the time for the questions we have today. But make sure you guys go over to part two on JC's channel. And do you have anything to add? No. No? Okay. Well, that's it. Uh, make sure you subscribe and check out my OnlyFans. Bye. <laughs>